everyone! So, in our last video, we took a look at nouns, and we identified that nouns are a person, place, thing, or idea. And in our last video, we also broke down nouns into two subcategories, one being concrete and one being abstract. And what I'd really like to do is just going over uh, like a quick recap, like a quick review of that. So, just as a review, concrete nouns are nouns that you can experience through your five senses. If you can hear it, touch it, see it, smell it, or taste it, it's a concrete noun. And then we have the more complicated abstract noun, which are things or ideals. Things like emotions, um, or values, or morals, okay? But did you know that we have six other categories of nouns that we need to go over? And so that's what I'm going to be going over today, okay? So here are the six different types of nouns that we're going to be learning about in class, okay? So these are common nouns, proper nouns, singular nouns, plural nouns, possessive nouns, and collective nouns. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to group some of them together because some of them just go with each other. Okay, so if we take a look at the first two different types of nouns, they are common nouns and proper nouns, and these go together. So common nouns are a person, place, thing, or idea. They are not specific. So these would be nouns like teacher, city, or a game. Proper nouns, on the other hand, are nouns that are a person, place, thing, or idea, but they're of a particular person, place, thing, or idea. A big hint for proper nouns is that they're typically going to be capitalized. So we have words like missing no, Denver, and Zelda. So I made it where the common nouns that I listed and the proper nouns are going to coincide with one another. So here I have a manatee but I've named this manatee schnoz. So as a common noun and proper noun, the common noun here would be manatee, but because I've made a particular name associated with this manatee, I can also identify this manatee as schnoz, the proper noun. The next thing we're going to be moving to is singular nouns and plural nouns. Now, I'm going to be going over how a singular noun and a plural noun are different from each other and that can get kind of complicated with how to express something that is plural um, for example why is ox one and then the plural of an ox is oxen why isn't it oxes there's reason behind that but i'm not going to be getting into that in this video um, so right now we're just going to focus on nouns and being able to identify a singular versus plural noun okay so a singular noun is going to refer to a single or one person, place, thing, or idea. Examples of this would include apple, baby, wolf, or ox. Now if we look at the plural, plural nouns refer to more than one or multiple people, places, things, or ideas. I'm keeping it concise with singular and plural. So for the examples I have for singular, I'm gonna go ahead and give the plural of those. So the singular apple, the plural apples. Then we also have babies, wolves, and oxen. And again, I will be doing another video on the complexity of why certain words are different. Like why is child not child, it's children. There's a reason behind that, but again, I will get to that in another video. All right, these last two are the most complicated, but if you break them down in the right way, they're easier to understand. And so the last ones that we're going to be looking at are possessive nouns and collective nouns. Possessive nouns show possession, as in ownership of something. The biggest hint that it's going to be a possessive noun is that you're going to see that apostrophe S at the end of a word that shows specific possession or ownership of something. So these are words like manatee's home, or bird's wings, or the teacher's apple. And then we have collective nouns. And what collective nouns are is that they're going to indicate a group of individuals. So this is where we get words like 
family, gang, crew, class, crowd, or committee. All right, so those are the other six types of nouns. I know I went through those kind of quick, but we will be reviewing those. You do need to pause your screen real quick and you're going to answer the following question. All right, so what you need to do is identify the six new types of nouns that we look, learned today. So you need to give me a common noun, a proper noun, a singular noun, a plural noun, a possessive noun, and a collective noun. Don't forget to write that down. You do need to bring that in for me to see. I will be checking that when you come into class. Um, I do think this is really fun. We're gonna be doing a lot of fun activities in the classroom with these. And so don't forget to do your homework and don't be afraid to learn. Bye guys.